Hello, I'm Mark Price. I'd like to talk to you today about a question that Jesus asked Simon Peter. Who do you say that I am? There was an old man who was out on a hike in the hills back behind his house and one day he was walking along a path and he heard a voice and the voice said, pick me up. And he looked around, he saw no one and he kept walking and the voice again said, pick me up. And he looked, he saw no one, and so he continued, and the uh, voice said, down here, on the ground, pick me up. And the old man looked down, and it was a frog, a talking frog. And the old man picked him up and, the, and said to the frog, he says, you're a talking frog. And the frog said, yes, yes, you can tell, <laughs> good for you. He says, um, I'm not only a talking frog, I come with a wish. You get to kiss me and I turn into a, a gorgeous woman. And the man looked at the frog and thought about it, put the frog in his pocket. And the frog said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just said, if you, if you kiss me, you, I turn into a gorgeous woman. And the, uh, the man said, well, at my age, I think I'm better off with a talking frog. <laughs> the gospel today is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon said of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. So there it is, a question, pretty important question, and he not only is asking the, the disciples and Simon Peter, who do they say that I am, who do you say that I am, he's actually asking us as well, who do we say that he is? Who in our lives do we, on a daily basis, when we think of Jesus, who do we say that he is? And it makes a big difference. If we, if we say he's a great teacher, that means one thing. If we say he's a great prophet, that means something else. If we say he is a miracle worker, that means something, again, different. But if we say you are the Lord, you are the son of the living God, that is how we should think of him, and that's how we should treat him. I believe that how we see him and what we truly believe he is and who we truly believe he is determines in our own life, our own walk of faith, how we see him, how we act toward him, and how we share him with others. But in this reading today, we hear Simon Peter's response, and it's an interesting, in fact, since it's Simon, Let's have him tell us in his own words what it was like being asked that question, how he felt, and how he answered. Simon Peter. And at one point we were resting and Jesus called a few of us over and he said, who do they, who do they say that I am? And my brother Andrew said, well, some say you're John the baptizer, come back from the dead. Well, that couldn't be, could it? John and Jesus were alive at the same time. But sadly, Andrew has some of my genes. <laughs> and then some of the others said that they say, you're one of the prophets come back from the dead. And then Jesus turned to me, and he asked, who do you say that I am? And without thinking, which is how I normally spoke, I said, you are the Christ. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus smiled. He smiled at me. I had finally said something right. 
Yes, he said, blessed are you, Simon Peter, son of John, for you could not have known this on your own. This must have come to you from my Father in heaven. Well, I tell you, I felt ten feet tall. I felt as if another David had been born, and I could slay Goliath by myself. I could do anything. I felt as if I had done everything right for once. Well, then Jesus went on and said that the Son of Man would suffer, and the Son of Man would die. Well, I was feeling my strength, and I said, No, he will not. I will not allow it. I have never in my life seen someone's face change as rapidly as did Jesus. It went from smiling to something I can describe not. And then he put his finger into my face and he said, You, get away from me, Satan. Get away from me, you Satan. How could I go from pleasing him one moment to saying something so completely wrong the next. How could I do that? I do not know, but I did it all the time. I was always saying the wrong thing and falling short and disappointing Jesus. But you know, each and every time I did, I would go to him and I would say, Jesus, please forgive me. And do you know that each and every single time he did, he forgave me. And if he forgave me, I tell you, he will forgive you no matter what you've done. No matter how bad you think you've been, he will forgive you. You see, I have no excuse. I knew him. I lived with him. I traveled with him. I watched as he performed miracles. I watched as he made the, the, the lame to walk and the blind to see, the deaf to hear. I was with him when he, when he brought a man back from the dead. He rose a man back to life. I saw this. And I was with him on the side of the mountain with James and John. And we saw Jesus standing there talking to Moses and Elijah. And then I heard a voice. It was the voice of God. And it said, this is my son. Listen to him. Listen to him. Don't you see, I have no excuse. I know who he was, but I failed him time and time again. But each and every time I went to him and asked for his forgiveness, he forgave me. That is who Jesus is. Well, there you have it. Simon's given you his remembrance of, of that walk to Caesarea Philippi and Jesus asking a question and how he responded to it. Kind of shocking in some ways, isn't it? I have another question for you. Not only who do you say Jesus is, get ready. Who does Jesus say that you are? Does Jesus say that you are a follower, a believer? Does Jesus say that you are a person who, when you're standing up there on judgment day, he says, this man, I, woman I know, they are a good and faithful servant. We are welcome into my home. Is this who he says we are? How does Jesus see you? How does Jesus see me? And who will he tell his father that we are? Amen? This is Mark Price. Thanks for listening.